Hello friends, so welcome to our channel. So in today's session, let us have a look on uh, one more concept of information security. So in the previous classes, we have seen the all the basic terminologies and the basic concepts of information security and then we have seen uh, various categories of attacks and then we have seen uh, various services provide, provided by our information security. And now let us have a look on a simple encryption techniques. So first of all, uh, the encryption can be done in two ways that is a symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption that we have discussed in the first session. So let me explain in a brief that uh, in the symmetric encryption, whatever the key is used in the encryption, the same key must be used in the decryption also. That means we have to share the secret key in between the sender and receiver in a secure communication channel so that both the sender and receiver will use the same key for encryption and decryption. So asymmetric means here there will be a pair of keys that means every user will be having the two keys one is a public key and another one is a private key. So as the name indicates the public key is a public to all the users in the network and the private key will not be shared between the different members. So it will be only with the receiver or a sender. So that if one key is used in the encryption, the other key of same pair should be used in the decryption. That we call it as asymmetric encryption. Now, in this session, let us have a look on a simple symmetric encryption techniques. So this simple encryption, symmetric encryption techniques are also called as conventional encryption techniques. So here, mainly, there are two categories of techniques, a simple symmetric encryption techniques. The first one, substitution techniques another one transposition techniques so the name itself indicates the substitution techniques means we will replace the plain text characters with the ciphertext characters so here the plain text will be in a characters and also the ciphertext will also be in a characters and <coughs> Here, the complete plain text characters will be replaced, that means substituted by the ciphertext characters. So, in this, there are mainly, we are going to discuss only two substitution techniques. Those are Caesar cipher and Playfair cipher. Playfair cipher, Caesar cipher and the Playfair cipher. So there are many more, that is monoalphabetic or a polyalphabetic or a hill cipher, there are many more. So in this session, we, we are going to discuss only two categories of these substitution techniques, that is Caesar cipher and the Playfair cipher. So the main drawback of these substitution techniques are, these cipher, these symmetric techniques are useful only for the short length messages. So, these are very much vulnerable to the attack. That means it is very easy to be attacked by the cryptanalyst. So first, let us start with the Caesar cipher. So before applying the Caesar cipher, so first of all, let us give the numbering to the plain text alphabets. So here I am writing the alphabets. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, E, V, W, X, Y and Z. So let us start giving numbering from A to Z. So first let us uh, give the numbering to the alphabets. So we can consider the starting number as a 0 or a 1. So that we have to mention. Here I am taking the first number as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
ओडी फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो फर्स्ट आई हैव गिवन द नंबर्स फॉर द प्लेन टेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर्स लेट अस कंसीडर दिस कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द प्लेन टेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर्स हियर इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द साइफर टेक्स्ट सो वी हैव टू यूज वन की एंड एस इट इज एन सिमेट्रिक एनक्रिप्शन द सेम की शुड बी यूज्ड इन द डिक्रिप्शन प्रोसेस आल्सो सो हियर द की इज अ न्यूमेरिकल न्यूमेरिकल की which ranges from 1 less than 26 so 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to 26 that means the k must be 1 to 26 any number in between 1 to 26 including the numbers 1 and 26 so for finding the cipher text cipher text is equal to plain text plus key mod 26 so this is the formula to find the cipher character so here we have to consider each character and we have to apply this formula and so that we will get the cipher text character let it be example let the plain text be hello so the key is some four so the cipher text characters first let us consider the h so cipher text character of h is equal to plain text so h is having a number 8 so 8 plus key is 4 4 mod 26 that means 12 mod 26 which is equal to 12 So cipher text of H is a twelve, which is equal to what is the letter of twelve? Four L. So which is equal to L. So cipher text of H is L. Now cipher text of E is equal to what is the number for E? Five. So five plus what is the key here? Four. Mod. Twenty-six. So here we got nine mod twenty-six, which is equal to nine, which is equal to the character of nine is i. So i. So for e, the cipher text character is i. And coming to this, the next one, the cipher text character of l is equal to plain text. L is having a number twelve plus the key is four. Mod twenty six that equal to sixteen mod twenty six which is equal to sixteen which is equal to p. So the cipher text character of l is p. Automatically the next character is also l, so it is p. Now cipher text character of o is equal to what is the number of o fifteen. So fifteen plus four mod twenty six. So here nineteen mod 26 which is equal to 19 so what is the character of 19 yes so here the o the cipher text character of yes o is yes the so given plain text is hello and the cipher text is l i p p yes so for the given plain text hello With a key four, we got the cipher text L I P P S. So this is a simple technique of a scissor cipher, the conversion of the plain text to cipher text. So the decryption is a reverse process. So we have to use a minus cipher text minus key. And here the use of mod twenty six is if we got the plain text letter as J. If our Plain text. For example, let us take one more example so that you can clearly understand. If our plain text is, so here, here, here the plain text is zoo, z o o zoo. So we have to convert this zoo to the cipher text. 
so plain text characters to the cipher text so here the key is same for let us take the same for the cipher text character of z is equal to what is the number of z 26 so 26 plus 4 key mod 26 so here it is 30 mod 26 which is equal to 4 30 mod 26 is equal to 4 so the, ca the character of number 4 is d so the d is the ciphertext character of a plain text character z similarly the ciphertext character of o is equal to what is the number of o 15 so 15 plus 4 mod 26 which is equal to 19 the letter of 19 is yes so the ciphertext character for the given plain text is d yes yes so this is the ciphertext character for the given plain text so for the repetition we have to use the mod 26 now let us see the exact the calculation of mod 26 how, how to calculate the mod 26 so many of them will be con uh, get confused of using this modular operator so let i will uh, clarify your doubts right so if we use a mod operator so because in our network security the mod operator is most important so in every almost in every other them we will receive this mod operator so we have to know the operation of mod so here the mod operator will result the remainder of division remainder of division so that means so 5 mod 2 5 mod 2 means that equal to remainder of remainder of 5 divided by 2 so 5 is divided into 2 to 2 is 4 and the result is 1 so this is the remainder so this will be the result for mod operator so here 5 mod 2 so 5 mod 5 divided by 2 and the remainder is 1 so 5 mod 2 is equal to 1 and the second case 2 mod 5 what about the 2 mod 5 so here 2 is divided by 5 0 times 0 2 which is the remainder so 2 mod 5 results 2 here we can write in generalize a mod b is a if a less than b so this we can remember if a is less than b then a mod b will be answer a so by using this modulo operator we have to perform the scissor cipher so as it is a substitution technique the plain text characters will be substituted with the cipher text character so this will be done by simply adding the value of plain text character to the key given key and the corresponding character of the result will be the cipher text character so the main drawback of this technique is only we are using the keys 26 so as i said that there is a brute force attack that means checking each and every possibility will easily get the actual data that means the plain text can be easily attacked because only we can apply only 26 possibilities in the brute force attack so this is the main drawback and this will be only suitable for short length messages it is it cannot be implemented on long messages so this is all about the scissor cipher next moving on to the second one that is play fair cipher play fair cipher play fair cipher so here first we have to consider the key and we have to consider the 5 by 5 table a table with a 5 by 5 columns 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 2 3 
4 and 5. So this is a 5 by 5 table. <coughs> this is a 5 by 5 table. First, we have to consider the plain text. The same we can take it as hello. And the, here the key is in a character. That means we can consider one word. So any word we can take it as. Let us take networks. Network is the key. It's a keyword. Next, we have to find the ciphertext. So what is the ciphertext? For given plain text hello with the key network. So first fill the table, this 5 by 5 table with the network. So write down every character in the table without any repetition. If you have any repeated letters, just you have to write only once. So ignore the repetitions. So write it down. N, E, T, W, O, R, K. So there are no repeated letters. So I have written the complete word in the table. Now fill the remaining boxes with all the alphabets which are not available in our key. First one, A, alphabet A, it is not available in our key, so I am writing A. Next, B, it is also not available, B. Next, C, C is also not available, D, D is not available, E, E is available. So, don't write that E, we should not repeat the character in the table. F, it is not there, G, G is not there, H. It's not there and I coming here so as it is a 5 by 5 table we will get only 25 letters so one letter should be merged with another letter here in general we can match I with J so I and J letters can be merged into a single box so here I or J so I am merging both I and J into a single column. Next, K. S here, it's L. M. N is there. O is there. P. Q. R is there. S. T is there. U. V. W is there. X. Y. And Z. So, first step, we have to fill the key without any repetition if our key is having any repeated letters just ignore the repetition just write the unique letters so we have to write all the 25 letters with one merger column that is with i and j now we have to follow the three rules the following rules we have to follow while converting this plain text to ciphertext the first and foremost rule is Divide the plain text into a pair of letters. Divide plain text to pair of letters. Next, second one. If any pair consists of repeated letters, just differentiate those repeated letters with any dummy letter. So differentiate repeated letters in the pair with dummy letter so after dividing now, first we have to check whether the pair of letters, that means the plain text letters, are in the same row or a column. So first, if a pair of plain text letters are in same row, same row, then, so same row, if, it, if both the letters are in same row, replace 
them with rightmost letters. So we have to replace those letters with the rightmost letters. And similarly, if the plain text letters are in same column, if the plain text letters are in same column, then replace with beneath characters or letters replace with the beneath letters so here beneath letters means down downside letters and the next one is in a diagonal positions so if plain text letters are in different row and column then replace with the character which is in the column corresponding to the row and row corresponding to the column that is simply we can remember it as a diagonal positions so for this i am writing just for remembrance diagonal positions replace with the diagonal positions so whatever the characters we are taking so replace them with the diagonal positions so these are the rules we have to follow while applying the play file cipher. The first and foremost is we have to write the, we have to fill the 5x5 five five matrix. So 5x5 five five table. So first we have to fill with the key without any repetitions. And then we have to fill all the remaining blocks with the alphabets in an order which are not present in the key. And for this only 5x5 five five, there are 25 blocks. The i and j characters must be merged into a single block. Then we have to apply the rules. First, we have to divide the plain text into different pairs of characters. So, and we have next we have to find out whether each pair consists of the repetition letters or not. If you find any repetitions in the pair of characters, then differentiate those pair of repetition characters with any other dummy letter, dummy character. So then we have to find whether the plain text letters fall in the same row or a same column or a different row in different column. So according to this, we have to convert this plain text to cipher text. Now let us consider the plain text as hello and let us find out the cipher text, corresponding cipher text. See here, first, the first one is we have to divide the plain text into pair of letters. So I am dividing the plain text into play, pair of letters H E L L and O. So first I have divided into plain of I mean pair of letters. So next I have to find whether the characters are in each pair are having a repetition or not yes here i found l and l comes into the same pair that means there it is a repetition so if there is no repetition we have to add a dummy letter in the last one because it doesn't form a pair here there is only one character so we have to add a dummy character but before that we have to check whether the remaining pairs are having the Repetition, repeated characters or not. If there are repeated characters, first we have to differentiate those repeated characters with the dummy letter so that it will form a pair. So here, this forms a repeated character. So differentiate with some x, some dummy letter, dummy character x. So after differentiation, H E forms one pair, L X forms one pair, X oh sorry, L O forms another pair. So before it doesn't form a pair, 
and after checking the repetition characters i have differentiated these two with another dummy letter so that the last character forms a pair so first consider h and e whether these two characters fall in the same row or same column or a different columns so h and e h and e so h is in the fourth column e is in the second column so both are in different rows and different columns here we have to replace in a diagonal positions that that means the letter which is corresponding to this column and which is corresponding to its row that means h e is replaced with diagonal so w and f so h e is replaced with w and f so same row column and same column row so w f and coming to the second one l x so here l and x so l and x also in a different row and different column so l x is replaced with u and p u and p similarly the last pair l o l o is so is here see l and o here also there are different in, in their forms uh, i mean they doesn't fall in same row and same column both are in a different row and different column so l o are replaced with n and s n and s so the the ciphertext characters are w f u p n s for the given plain text so like this we have to use the play phrase that means we have to substitute the plain text let us see one more example so that you can you can get a more uh, understandable first let us take the plain text as balloon right so first we have to convert it into pair of characters so b a one pair l l one pair o o one pair n another pair first i have to differentiate with the dummy letter so b a l x l o o n so there are no repetition in the pair so first i have considering this b a so b a b a both are in same row so if there are if these are in same row we have to replace with rightmost letter so what is the rightmost of b c what is the rightmost of a b so plain text letter is b a and the cipher text letter is c and b so rightmost letter of b is c rightmost letter of a is b next l x so l x is different so l x replaced with u p l x u p next l o l and o so l and o l and o are replaced with n and s n and s next o n o n and are in the same row so we have to apply the rightmost character what is the rightmost character of o so we have to use a circle so that means n and what is the rightmost character of n e so o n is replaced with n e we have to use the circle right for this purpose we have i have taken one more example that is bell so circle we have to use and also here also we have to use a circle in the column wise and the row wise so like this we have to convert the plain text to cipher text so these are the simple conventional encryption techniques that is a substitution techniques where we are substituting the cipher text characters in the place of plain text characters so the main drawback of these substitution techniques is these are only suitable for short length messages and also the brute force attack will be very easier that means these the, these algorithms will be easily attacked by the crypt analyst so hope you understood this uh, simple conventional encryption techniques and uh, coming to this uh, transposition technique let us stop here and uh, we will discuss in the next session that is a transposition 
technique one more uh, uh, conventional encryption techniques so if you like my videos share my videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel and if you are having any doubts regarding the network security or information security feel free to uh, post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to solve or clarify your doubts thanks for watching thank you very much